So how do you get traffic to your business if you have absolutely no clue whatsoever, right? You don't know about ads, you don't know about conversion rates, email marketing, you don't know, you don't know anything, right? Where do you get started? How do you even do that over all the years? Like, I think our reality as entrepreneurs, it's shit. Even today, I still believe I don't know much. Like, I don't think I know a lot, right? When I speak to people who are maybe a couple levels behind, so to speak, right? I realize, like, oh crap, like over time, I did learn a lot of skills, right? Because you kind of have to as an entrepreneur. Like, as you grow, as your business grows, it just means that your problems grow, right? So therefore you have to acquire new skills to solve those problems and to solve them really fast and make the right decisions, right? So over time we acquire those skills, but like we don't always realize that we did, right? You just take them for granted. We don't know what we do now, actually. Anyway, recently my wife, she made a huge leap of faith. She's like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start my own business, right? So actually does that with a friend of hers. The funny part is like, she has absolutely no clue about marketing whatsoever. That's fine. Like it's great to see, right? Because like now I get to see it up close what it's like again start from zero actually don't have anything just yet just building a, a shopify shop essentially having no clue about how to get people to your website whatsoever zero right it's not like she didn't do any like a lot of research and didn't read any books and now she starts a business she's like i want to start a business and what do i do she figured out how to use shopify so like she's good with that right now she's not a techie but like you know uh, work away uh, around that but now she's at a phase of how do i get the word out right and then she asked me can you just give me a plan what do i do and i started to think like wow it's actually it's actually really hard even i wouldn't be able to just create a plan because as i realized when or whatever i started drafting a plan of like these are the things you can do i realized that all those things they require a lot of different skill sets right like because there's there are a ton of things you can do first question is like do you have money or do you have time usually it's one of the two right some people start out they don't have a lot of money but they can spend all the time in the world others they want to act and go faster day but they have the luxury of money if you have that and you, you lean more towards paid traffic or paid marketing if you don't have much money but you do have time then you would go for like social media content marketing or seo take for example let's say you know seo like let's say for content marketing to figure out a way to get traffic to your website that way right as i started talking about that to my wife it's like there's still a lot of skills to be involved because she has no clue like i can tell her like go blogging but that in itself isn't gonna do much there's like a plan that needs to be involved because he's like what you write about I have no clue like this keyword research and doesn't know what that is this, what should be the title of what should i put in like how do i promote like do i need to promote it you just write it and people come to my website There's zero clue whatsoever and that's all fine that's actually not the point of this video it's not about the exact things that what to do but it's about the process that i believe she'll have to go through to make this work because the first phase with she's in right now she's just trying out a lot of different things without having a clue and without knowing whether she's doing the right thing she's literally just googling how to get traffic to my website and then she reads like posts from like neil patel or she watches some youtube videos and she sees all these different things and she's like you know what I'm just gonna try it. Like, I'm just gonna write some blog posts. I'm just gonna contact some influencers. I'm just gonna, like, she'll just do things and she has zero clue what she's doing, but she just does it. Like, and that's the, mo the best part. Like, she just does it. And for all these different things, I predict that most of the work she'll do, although a seed seal plan, right? It will be crickets. Like, there won't come anything from it. And that is fine. That's what the first phase is for. It's swimming. It, it could even feel as if you're drowning. You know, all these different things just to get a few visitors to your website or in a few visits they might not even buy and that is fine that's absolutely fine but it's then when you start seeing like hey this particular thing this worked what is that that's when you start to like go into what i call a like tunnel vision that's when you start to focus more on that because if you do all these different things that's not gonna get you very far right but you're just you're just learning it's a phase of like acquiring new skills but then once you see something getting somewhat of attraction not even attraction but like let's say you reach out to an influencer and they're like yeah sure i'll post it and you get a couple of customers from that like even just a few is like wait a second like if i can do it once i can do it 10 times i can do it 100 times that's when the second phase starts where you start to like first phase just do whatever without getting anything out of it and then you once you start to see something out of it, once something is starting to move or something starts to get traction, that's when you zoom in into things that are kind of working better and learn more skills than that, right? Because you cannot learn everything about everything, right? Like that's just crazy. And from that, you just go deeper and deeper and deeper because this is not a one time thing. It's not like an overnight success. This is not going to happen, right? And sure, I can come in and tell her like, do this and do this. But if I tell her like literally what to do, she so wouldn't really learn. Like you learn the best, but just doing it yourself, making the mistakes. And I can adjust and, and steer into the right direction. But this is like the first 
period is learning, getting some insights of like what may work and dive deeper into that. And then sticking to that, that's an important part of the phase too, because I would have seen plenty of entrepreneurs who try out a lot of different things. They get somewhat of traction somewhere and they spend more time or energy there. And then for whatever reason, they just stop and go somewhere else. But if you keep on pushing forward, because like the 80-20 rule, you need to spend a lot of time and that's when you'll get the results. Right? Anyway, hopefully that helps. Hopefully that resonates as well for those who are starting out just like my wife currently is. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video. All right, cut. We're done here. Let's wrap it up. Oh, well, sorry. Uh, you're still there. Well, uh, in that case, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel where I share marketing tips, tricks, and strategies that will help you grow your business faster. So you can click on the subscribe button right now or check out the next video. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.